Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks. Where am I? Solly Hill train station. But I'm not going on a train. I'm waiting to be picked up to go on another coach holiday with the national holidays. And it's a bit of a secret between uh, me and you that they, these holidays are fantastic value. And I don't want too many people to know about it. I swear, on, when I want to book, they'll be fully booked up. But uh, you get luxury coaches, professional drivers, and the hotels are usually pretty good. Okay, they might be two star, but the thing is, the more stars you get and whatever, the more you've got to pay. So uh, in these hard times, you know, money's a bit tight. These holidays are good value. I'm going uh, full uh, half board. Um, Monday to Friday, four nights, it's £200, I've got to pay single supplements because I'm on my own unfortunately but uh, that's the way life goes but if you are a single person uh, they're great to come on these trips because you meet loads of people you know you can have a chat and stuff and you're not on your own so it's a great you know, everyone makes you welcome on the coach so you're, you're in the crowd so it's pretty good so anyway this uh, video is going to be about my trip down to uh, Bournemouth the hotel room my evening meal breakfast and the entertainment I'm just waiting for a train to arrive oh it's behind me uh, I was hoping to see the Oxford flyer but uh, not going to be seeing that today so anyway thanks i've rattled on enough uh i think i haven't said don't forget to like and subscribe appreciate that folks and we'll see you in a bit see you in a bit folks yeah so i'm just at the uh, station i was open to there's a train i like it the oxford flyer when that goes it is a flyer but uh we we'll have to do with this one. Follow that train, folks. Follow that train. I am. Uh... Yeah, greetings, folks. I haven't got me. Uh... The wireless mic plugged in, so you do get a bit of road noise. We're at the station, and uh, it's a bit of a miserable morning. Uh, I leave my car at the car park here. It's the cheapest way. <laughs> bit of noise going. It's the cheapest way to do it, really. You've got to pay someone to bring you up here and back. Anyway, I'm going to get to my wheels. Have a drop of coffee while I wait for the coach and we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, hi folks. Uh, just outside the station and uh, I've spotted the priority post box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah greetings folks from uh, Solio Station. Uh, just waiting now for the uh, coach to uh, pick us up. Um, it's got a few uh, things about five pickups before it comes to me and we're off to Northampton, Milton Keynes. They've just sent me a little list through this time of uh, what to expect. I know the previous holiday they didn't let me know that uh, I was being picked up by like, what they call a feeder coach. It didn't matter. The last trip I went to Blackpool. Uh, to the Norbrecht Castle, that was quite a popular video uh, on my channel, I think it's had over 20,000 views which amazed me but uh, I'll just give you a little pan round where I am see you in a sec yeah busy morning here at uh, Solihull Station so uh, just waiting now for me uh, wheels to arrive for the trip. Shouldn't be long now. See you in a bit, folks. Right, the coach has finally arrived. It's uh, 45 minutes late, but uh, 
better late than never. Uh, we we'll just wait for the drive. Yeah, this is the coach anyway, national holidays. So, catch you in a bit. Good morning, how are we? How are we? Oh. Anybody <laughs> else out there? Yeah. It was, uh, I left workshop at five o'clock and uh, it should have taken me an hour and a half to get to Dudley. Let's have a 40, 45 minute break. That didn't happen. <laughs> it was just horrendous. I got an M1 and there's been an accident and everyone just long run. And the rest yeah, you know, delays, just snowballed and snowballed. On the coach So now. please accept my apologies. We're making his way to Watford Gap. So we'll have to <laughs> see it a bit first. Doing what, sorry? Yeah, hi folks. Uh, we're now at Watford Gap. Uh, there's a feeder coach here, Johnson Brothers. I used to work for Johnson Brothers. Uh, that was the only job, really, until uh, I uh, worked for myself. Uh, VW Garage years ago in Redditch. That's another story. So yeah, it's all going okay. We've got a beer and now and now. It's it's all part of the journey, you know, stopping off. Not that I'm tight, but I've got my flask and uh, sandwiches. He did say no what drinks on the coach, but it was a bit late after I'd had a coffee. So uh, I'm going to give you a quick swing round. Hang on there. Yeah, so that's uh, our wheel. Seems a nice, friendly driver. So we'll see in a bit. Yeah, hi folks. Uh, now at uh, Donington Services, it's uh, I'll see what I'll tell you the time. It's three o'clock, so uh, I've got my own coffee if it's still warm. I'm just going to spin you around a sec. It's been a bit of a long old drive. He reckons we're going to be at Bournemouth for quarter to five, so we'll catch you in a bit, folks. Right, just arrived folks, it's about five o'clock, so catch you in a bit. Right, now heading to the hotel. Carrington House Hotel folks. Let's go and have a nose. Right, near the reception. Yeah, hi, greetings folks. Now in my room at the hotel. Uh, everything's gone fairly smoothly. It was a long drive down here. Uh, I think what they tried to do was um, fill, fill the coach up, which I don't blame them. These uh, times of money's a bit short, so they've got to get, squeeze every penny out of everybody. But we're in a bad journey. Friendly crowd on the coach and on arrival got the key okay so i'm now going to show you around the room folks so see you in a sec right it's a single bed there to start with oh right, it's a couple of uh, christmas presents there i might take them and put them under my tree but that's another story. So we've got tea and coffee facilities, a nice big uh, drawer, set of drawers there. I'll put the laptop on there. TV, wardrobe over there. Got a little one, little chair there. It's not too bad. And uh, let's swing you around. So I've got the bed here. Let's go and check the uh, cars here. Right, greetings folks. Well, I don't know why it feels really warm in here, but there's no heating on. So, uh, what's that? Warm in the bathroom, warm in the room. So this is the nice uh, clean sink. We've got a bath uh, with a shower there. Uh, 
swing around a little bit here so see what I'm doing yeah it's not too bad I'm just going to do a little bit of a pull back here's the loo just there that's all clean and tidy no problems there I'm happy with that so a nice uh, nice carpet in here and uh, give you a little bit of a 360 around the room here and down yeah not too bad i better do the bed test now hadn't i i'll do the bed test <coughs> not too bad well, i've got bad shoulders at the moment but uh yeah the bed's all right so the room has passed its inspection spotlessly clean uh, smells nice and fresh. I say it's warm in here, but the radiators are off. Uh, I'm happy enough anyway so far. I will give you. I said there's mince pies and coffee down the lounge, so dinner's at seven. So we'll have a quick freshen up, and we'll go check them mince pies out. See you in a bit, folks. Yeah, this is. I'm just using the GoPro, doing a little bit of a view round in super view it gives a nice wide angle shot uh, as I'm pleased with the room I've done the extra mile let me do a little bit with the GoPro yeah very nice let's go and check the loo out all right here we go yeah all good yeah happy with that so I'm in uh, super view at the moment so just gives that wide view I forgot to show you the towels there so spotlessly clean well done to the cleaners looks really nice tea and coffee facilities there for the second time so I'm going to get things unpacked we'll catch you in a bit folks yes yeah, so I've got me coffee and mince pies folks here a bit small but that'll do nice little Father Christmas there Hello. nice Christmas tree a bit of information what's on here um, at the hotel in January some good uh, good groups on there and then going through to May Looks interesting. Might have to give it a try. 195 pounds for three nights. Not bad. Yeah, nice big room. Don't know if there's anything on here tonight, but uh, certainly a nice size room. What's on the menu tonight? So uh, that's the uh, price, the breakfast and the dinner. Yeah, lovely tree there, folks. I oh, I oh. Hi, folks, and greetings from uh, the Carrington Hotel here in Torquay. Well, so far, everything's okay. It's a lot better than the Norbrecht Castle, the uh, standard of everything, you know. So, though it's supposed to be two star, it's, it's really nice. So, that's out of the way. The only complaint I've got is that. Um, in my house, and you're probably the same, everybody, we will turn all the lights off as soon as we go out of the room. When I came in here, every light was on. <laughs> Bathroom light, the lights in here. So, uh, I mean, I think at the Norbrick, they had a note, you know, telling you to sort of save energy, but there's no note here. In these uh, times, the money's a bit, you know, tight. Uh, I was surprised to see all the lights on. It was red hot. Oh, so is our radiator. It was red hot when I came in the room. Uh, I couldn't understand it, but whoever's been in here before I came and probably checked the room out or whatever, they turned the radiator off 
and open the window because it was too hot in and I've just uh, had a bath so uh, I'm uh, all freshened up now ready to go down for dinner now a little bit of a story if you watch me videos I have stories but I don't know if you know what these are but they're pajamas they were uh, I went to town with my daughter Olivia the other day and she was looking at some clothes and we was in all the shops and uh, she said, what are you looking for, Dad? To buy us some pyjamas. I've already got one set. But I don't know what... I haven't worn pyjamas for years, but... Due to the <laughs> cold weather and stuff, I thought I'd buy myself a pair. But I don't know why. When I get up in the morning, the pyjamas are up on my knees. They're like short, so I tried to buy another pair. I said to Olivia, normally I'll be down the town buying a new pair of trousers, a shirt to go out on the night to a naughty club or out somewhere on a date now i am getting pajamas next thing will be some new slippers and a pipe but that's another story but i don't smoke so um dinner's at seven or tea as i call it it's about 10 to 7 now so i have to turn that i'll just put the radio it on full blast so i'll turn that down a bit uh, and we'll see you hopefully I'll give you a little shot of the dinner I don't film much of the food because there's lots of people around I don't want to impose on them but I'd just like to show you what uh, what's on the menu they've got some entertainment on tonight I'm not sure whereabouts I did film a room earlier whether it's in there but usually I'll give a little clip of the entertainment depending on what music's playing or I'll have to do a voice over we'll see about that anyway that's all for now thanks for joining me folks and we'll see you a bit further along catch you in a bit oh, this is uh, on the menu here as we go along nice beef there yeah, it's nice yeah, we're going to get sucked in there Yeah, lovely selection of stuff here, pudding, apples, as we go along. Uh, salad. Yeah, just another shot of me dinner. There, roast beef, chicken wings, chips, a little bit of salad. Must be pudding. Got water. You can't... Uh, Grumble at that. Let me get tucked in anyway. Greetings, folks. Hang on a minute. My daughter always says, You got any dinner in your chops, Dad? So just checking. Oh, just checking that radio. It's just cooled down a bit now. Yeah, I'm back from me nosh up. I must say, like my brother Brian said, 11 out of 10 when we stayed at one hotel. Really nice food. The chips were really nice. Uh, I didn't try the fish but I had some beef, chicken wings. I have got used to my air fryer food so it made a change to have normal food but uh, it was uh, it was very nice and the sweet or pudding as I call it was very nice. I did go up for seconds I didn't film that but I had a bit of uh, apple crumble and custard which was nice now so far i can't fault the hotel it's clean tidy friendly stuff even the reception i haven't seen anyone miserable apart from myself they've all been polite helpful so uh, i mean when i read the reviews they weren't very good i know everyone's got their different standards but i'm a fussy eater people know me and uh you know it's it's a nice uh, nice place so obviously I, I ain't exploring outside today what's happening tomorrow is there's two uh free excursions you get with national holidays some of the companies charge you it's a nine ten pounds but we've got two free there is one on the thursday an extra that you've got to pay for i'm not going to go on that not that i'm tight but it's the new forest it's the wrong time of year for me for things like that we've got a trip uh, <laughs> so I'm struggling here on that fall got a trip to uh, uh, Paul and 
I think he's going to drop us into Bournemouth on the way back and we've got a trip to uh, well I think it's yeah I think he's doing that we've got um, Weymouth and Dorchester I think there's a couple of trips anyway something like that I might have got it wrong way round but I'll do a little clip on those and do that on a separate video so so far everything's all right. the only thing if you do follow me videos uh, when I was at the Norbert Castle the uh, coach driver one of them uh, there uh, he um where the table i sat on he come and snatch the uh the, the chair you know from where i sat and it looks like it's their coach driver i can't be 100 percent but uh like he did say the hotel will call him mr grumpy i didn't call him that but i reckon it was him that uh had my chair but i'm not going to say anything to him if he if he watches the video, I'll let you off now. He's a good driver. So uh, anyway, that's all for now. We'll see you uh, for a few clips of the entertainment, hopefully, in a bit. See you in a bit, folks. Yeah, folks, that's me. Uh, breakfast. I got cereal over the other side as well. Yeah, so we got all types of cereal. And, uh, a bit of that in a bit. Yes, yeah, so that's me breakfast, folks. I'll let you know in a bit what it's like. Yeah, I didn't see this. We have got uh, croissants there. Got the toast on the go. Real butter. Marmalade. Perfect. We'll say the breakfast was nice. Yeah. Hi, folks. Well, it's uh, quarter to eight. I'm just doing a little pan round here at the hotel uh, it's been good so far uh, so just a little look round, it's a bit chilly this one I've got my jacket on it's got a little walk round here uh, double yellow lines he's barked on then and the coach uh, they seem to get away with that uh, That's Portsmouth City coach there. That's uh, that's the coach of Come On. And then we got this one here. Welcome aboard. 
this is Just Go, which is part of uh, well, national holidays. So that's what I'm on the turkey and tinsel, same as them. Yeah, quick shot of the front of the hotel there, folks. Nice breakfast this morning. Hi, folks. Well, I've uh, I've had my breakfast, uh, so I'm going to uh, end this video now. The next one will be we're going to Weymouth and Paul. So uh, I've got other videos on Weymouth, so I won't be doing too much filming. Just a few shots of wandering around, or if I see anything interesting. So back to the hotel because I say I normally do a. a day one video which this is the video uh, the hotel it's very nice um i've just had my breakfast the only thing i could say about the breakfast it wasn't that warm it was well it was warm but it could have been a bit hotter but i went down early and obviously what they do they have those lights keeping everything warm and i think uh if you have it too you know if they have it too oil it'll it'll sort of overcook everything so probably that's why but that's the only thing apart from that the breakfast was tasty um coffee was nice toast was okay marmalade butter you know orange juice i didn't end up having the cereal but they got all that round there so there's a good selection of food i say i'm full up now so uh yeah, it's very good. I mean, the TripAdvisor reviews aren't very good on this hotel, but some people have got different standards. So this is classed as a two-star hotel. I mean, if you want to, for what you're paying, you, you pay for what you get. You can't really fault the hotel. It's so fair and staff friendly. Uh, all the guests, you know, we're all on the coach parties and everyone's chatting and all you know all good on that um you know it's great i mean you just can't go wrong you know to, the meal was nice last night i so say i only do the meal on the first night because they're all pretty similar the, it's a buffet meal but i think we've got a christmas uh dinner tonight because this is what they call a turkey and tinsel trip so i may on another video uh show the uh christmas dinner possible so i normally have cheese on toast at home so be a bit of a treat but i do cook on boxing day for all the family so uh yeah so <clears throat> i say it's been great um i've enjoyed it so uh all i've got left to say is stay safe and well wherever you are and don't forget to do the usual like and subscribe and uh watch up you know look out for all the other videos from this trip and uh so let's hope there's peace in ukraine and all around the world and things improve here in the uk as well so thanks for joining me folks and uh we'll see you all on the next one appreciate that thanks for watching bye